If only there was some easy way to make selections pop. Hi there, I'm Director of Photography, Alec Watson, and I'm gonna show you some techniques using just curves to make selections in an image that you might not have thought possible. Now, back in my other life, before I became a photographer, I was actually a recording engineer. This process literally comes from me being a sound recording engineer as a, like a studio engineer and not so much a photographer. Here is what I came across and it works great. So the tendency when we want to make a selection, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this little tree and these greens pop off this picture and we're gonna do it just with curves and I'm gonna suggest to you the curves is a really awesome way to do it. So I've got my histogram on the left and my histogram, it shows a lot of darks. That's all these darks around here. This tree is lighter. It's also green, but if I want to make it brighter and pop, if I do something like take my contrast up, it's gonna take my blacks down. What if I don't wanna take my blacks down, right? Uh, what if I just want to find that area? So here, is something that comes from the music world. This works out like what's called an, a band pass EQ. You don't have to remember this. What I'm gonna show you is a technique, I and mean, we're gonna do this on a bunch of things, and it's a really easy way to make selections. So I do not want to affect the bottom end. I don't want to affect my darks. So on my curve, I'm gonna go down my curve and put a bunch of dots. Oh, that was not supposed to drag, there we go. By putting these dots down here, it actually locks that area of the image in place so that I can't affect the darks in my image. What I want to affect is the lights, and they are up here. This, this tree and this stuff here is up here. So if I just take this section and drag it up, bam, I got that to pop off the picture without affecting any other area. Now normally, we'd want to think about some kind of selection, right, and, and draw around this. This didn't use drawing at all. This just used the fact that this was in a different set of uh, like a luminosity range. And the way that relates to music is, <laughs> I'm not sure this is gonna help or hinder, the darks here, they're like a kick drum or a bass guitar, right? They're the, the bottom end, boom, 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 okay? This, this stuff here is like a vocal. And on a recording, you've got things like hi-hats, you know, tss, tss, tss. If I wanna turn up the vocal, I can just grab the vocal range and lift it, and that'll pull the vocal out of the mix. And that's kind of what we did here. We're saying, we just wanna take this kind of higher end stuff that's around here, and we want to give it a good lift. But we don't wanna take the top end, which is like cymbals and stuff, we don't want to, we don't want to have them too loud, and we don't wanna affect our bottom end at all, we just want to affect those upper mids. And we'll show original. And boom, just like that, we can make an area pop. I'm gonna show you a few other ways to do this. This tree, and I'm, we're going the opposite direction on this one. We're gonna take this into the develop suite. Now, when we look at this one, all this snow up here is up in this area. This tree is down in this area. Now, if I were to print this tree out, uh, it would be gray. And when I print it, I wanna make sure I've got some black in it because when I've got black, it'll print better. This area down here on my histogram tells me that I've got no black. And if you're not laying black ink down, you're not gonna get the contrast. So I wanna get black out of that. Well, if I were to go into general, and again, kinda like the other one, if I turn up the contrast to get black, I am gonna lose all my detail in the snow, which I don't wanna do. In fact, I might even pull my highlights down just a touch. There we go. But I really wanna get these blacks and crunch them in the bottom a little bit. So I want that tree darker, but I don't wanna affect anything else. So same idea, it's the, the opposite way around. We take our curves, we're going to lock the top end. Oh, we're, not, we're not trying to move that, that's just me doing a bad mouse move. There we go. So we put, we put down some dots. Their job is just to lock that curve in place. And then this area, 
we're going to pull down. We're going to pull all of that down. And you can see down in the bottom of my histogram now, I can move this area and crunch some black. That's a little too crunched. There we go. But somewhere in there, I now know that when this goes to print, I've got a deep dark tree. I'm laying down some black ink. The tree also has, is still keeping the grays because that would be these grays up through here. I haven't affected any of the white or any of the picture. This is a great way to really have fantastic amount of control over pulling something out of an image. We'll go with one more tricky one just to make sure you've got the concept. Sticking with our tree theme, we're going to take this into the develop suite. This image has a similar problem. It's not quite as obvious, but if I want to, if I want to take this to print, we have no black ink in my image. And when I have no black ink in my image and the printers aren't putting down any black, I'm lacking a whole bunch of contrast. I want to make sure I get some black ink in the bottom of my image. So once again, if we were to go to contrast, that affects my whole image. And I really like the tonality of this image. I just want to make sure I want to keep this tone, but I want to get some black in that tree and in my shadows to get a little extra depth. And I don't want to change anything because this, this, the tonality of this, I really love. So we go into tone curves and we're going to lock the top end, right? Oh, there's me doing uncoordinated mouse moves again. We're going to lock everything that we don't want to see changed. So by doing, putting these dots down, uh, if we go show original, it's real. I mean, it's changing a little bit because there's a tiny bit of a curve adjustment, but basically I, I've done, I've done nothing. I want to affect this area here. So I'm going to even lock in one more time and I'm just going to take the bottom end and I'm going to pull it down so that I lock in some blacks. There we go. I kept the tonality of the entire image basically the same apart from the deep blacks are now going to lay down some black ink. There we go. There's our original. It's very subtle and we can only really, we see it on the trunk of the tree and we see it for sure in the histogram. And that basically tells us we get to keep the tonality of this entire image, but we're laying down some black ink and we're going to get way more depth out of our prints, even though it doesn't change it much on screen. And uh, so this technique, I don't have a name for it. It's kind of like controlled EQ. If you got something out of this, please click like. And you know what? While you're clicking like, go ahead and subscribe as well. Our, our channel here is growing and I'm basically doing this for you guys. So if you've got questions, throw them into the comment section. I'm happy to answer questions and make videos that help you make the world a better and more beautiful place by taking some photos.